Keys? Man, your island man, coming to you live once again from beautiful Hawaii here on the island of Oahu, bringing you, yes, you, the best movie reviews on the entire island of Oahu. And yes, this is Trinidad, the island man, your island man. And, uh, whoo, ha, 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 uh, this weekend, opening weekend of the new movie, the scary movie, the terrifying movie, uh, the spooky movie called Barbarian. Uh, I've shown you the trailer if you haven't already seen it uh, and that trailer looked pretty terrifying. This stars Bill Skarsgård from It, uh, Georgina Campbell, uh, which I haven't seen her in anything else before, and uh, Justin Long of all people. <laughs> um, and well, remember our rating scale? Shock a thumbs up, it's good to see, I recommend it. Shock a thumbs down, it's junk. I don't recommend it. And well, for Barbarian, it is a shock a thumbs down. Uh, now let me caveat that by saying it is an interesting movie, a very interesting premise that had a lot of potential uh, from what you'd seen from the trailer. Uh, you know, looking at this trailer, watching this trailer with the name Barbarian. Initially, I thought, oh, this lady, uh, Georgina Campbell, is going to discover in this Airbnb of all things, which could possibly happen. I mean, you know, uh, two people uh, book an Airbnb by mistake or mistakenly get it at the same time. Uh, it turns out to be some kind of you know, abductee kind of thing. Maybe, you know, somebody put this Airbnb and they're capturing the guests and who would know? I mean, your credit card shows that you paid for it for this length of time, you left for as, as much as the company might know. If there's somebody in there uh, kidnapping people, torturing people, uh, holding them against their will uh, in secret rooms, say like in the basement, a la like maybe a hostel, uh, you know, to me, this felt, um, yeah, like it could have been a hostile, you know, that movie kind of situation, you know, a, a couple, you know, or two, two strangers meet, you know, maybe there's no hanky panky, but you know, something happens in the house. There's somebody else in the house that they didn't realize that they're renting and they get kidnapped, they get chained up, they get whatever, you know, sawed perhaps, you know, and put through these trials, these tests with a name like Barbarian. Maybe they're forced to, into some kind of gritty fight ring to survive and turn to like cannibalism. That's all what I'm thinking, right? That maybe Georgina uh, Campbell is, is uh, you know, held captive there for so long and forced in this fight ring kind of thing that she begins she becomes like a barbarian and turns very animalistic and maybe maybe that is what this movie is all about but it's not <laughs> i mean from this premise you know i mean it's very terrifying i mean you spend a night or you know you rent this airbnb in the strange house in the strange city a desolate part of detroit in this movie um that you know there's nobody else around 
and you know you just hope everything's okay and it's a nice place right you know you see in the trailer it's like oh okay it seems nice just they made a mistake uh, they double booked it for some reason uh no problem but the guy turns out nice he's like oh okay yeah well, i'll share it with you you know uh we'll both stay here you take the bedroom lock the door um and boom something happened they discover the secret room somebody goes missing uh georgina starts looking around for him finds this basement and then a sub basement these cages you know where it's like it looks like somebody was held under against their will it's like what could be more terrifying than than that and obviously then she gets captured right that's what you're thinking well without too many spoilers in this movie uh you know i'm going to go and tell you what happens and essentially why i feel it's not worth a shock of thumbs up but it is i'm rating it a shock of thumbs down essentially the best way to describe this movie would be if you think of the blair witch project that would be number three of the blair witch movies uh you know forget the great not not the great first movie not the sucky terrible second movie but the eh, okay movie third part movie called the blair witch project which shows if you had seen it uh i think the brother of the lady in the very first one uh he's searching for her and like 10 years later he he enters the forest finding uh, some information on where she could be at with a group of friends to videotape everything and document it you know in search of her remains probably by this time uh and unfortunately you know weird stuff happens in the forest in that blair witch movie and they end up in the house uh that you see at the end of that first movie and weird stuff is how you see the blair witch and uh, that blair witch looks oddly similar to a creature that they find in this airbnb in barbarian and from the definition of a barbarian uh someone who is not uh civilized often violent that is what this creature is this humanoid creature um and so right away it's like okay reminded me of the blair witch project combined with as it turns out the x-file episode that has um the redneck mutants the inbred redneck mutants uh you know in the south uh who've been you know messing around with their mother uh and still having these mutant babies that are like super strong and deformed and all that stuff and they just continue to kidnap and kill people throughout this town uh and their house those are the two things that x files episode and the blair witch project uh mainly on the blair witch in the house that this movie reminded me of totally and neither one turns out to be a very satisfactory uh film overall based on this great premise that should have been a shock of thumbs up if it had followed something more akin to maybe a, a silence of the lamb situation uh combined with uh say chainsaw massacre uh really could have been uh the new terrifying movie of the fall season however uh what we get is a mishmash of you know the first act of this movie is all set up uh we see georgina campbell and bill scars to gar they double book this or they're double booked into this airbnb um she discovers the basement finds that it looks like this uh place is, has been up to no good you know you see the blood on the walls the bed the camera in the trailer it's like and she's like right away you know maybe as a woman it's like hey this is like no good i'm out of here right uh and bill skarsgars character says hey hey wait a minute i i didn't see it i don't know i can't just run out of here. it's like you got to get out of here i'm leaving and she says you know and he says hey wait let me go see what it is 
And so right away you're thinking, it's like, oh, is he in on it? Is he one of the abductors? Because it's like, why, why would you not want to believe it? Just morbid curiosity. So he goes down in the basement to look at it, but he doesn't come back up. And so instead of running out of the house and calling the police, she goes down to try to find him. He, here's him meekly calling for help. And while well, that's what you get right there in the trailer that you see, right? And well, <laughs> Justin Long's character kind of comes in as a pseudo comic relief. Uh, which kind of changes the, the dynamic of the movie. Still kind of a malevolent uh, character uh, per se. Uh, kind of a shady uh, actor from Hollywood. Come into some bad times. Accused of raping uh, someone on set. Uh, you know, one of his co-stars. Uh, hard up on his luck. Turns out that he owns this house. Goes to this house to prepare to sell it finds this basement, finds Georgina, and gets into the same trouble as Bill Skarsgård and Georgina um, Campbell does. Uh, Justin Long gets into the same set of fate. Um, but just the tonal aspects of it, and it's kind of told a little bit out of time again. Kind of, you know, the it starts off uh, you know, well, I guess it does go linear. It starts off with Bill Skarsgård, Georgina Campbell, the Airbnb. Something happens to them. Cut to California, Justin Long, a few weeks later, having to go down, sell his properties for his legal expenses against this rape accusation. Um, he befits the same fate. And then we get a flashback to whose house this was back in the 80s uh, and what he was doing. He was using it to abduct people uh, and very much that X-File situation, uh, kidnapping them, raping these women, uh, forcing them to have his children. And then he would apparently rape these children or have sex with these children, thus compounding the inbreeding where you get, again, an X-Files redneck kind of mutant situation, which is the creature that you see in, uh, briefly possibly in the trailers, I think, which looks again, very much like the Blair Witch did in the Blair Witch Project. Uh, very, very similar. Um, and then it turns into kind of a campy, uh, you know, monster-esque situation. Uh, they do try to touch on some new aspects of things. You know, maybe the, you know, the, they lean into that the creature is not an evil creature, just, you know, because deformed and, and uh, you know, uh, mentally challenged. It doesn't know what it's doing. And then you find you know, even worse stuff in the house than this mutant uh, uh, woman uh, that is the result of all this inbreeding, abducting these people. Uh, <laughs> so again, uh, overall a shock of thumbs down. It is of some interest if you like horror movies and scary movies and, you know, you're looking for a new twist uh, and perspective on kind of, you know, the horror movie genre. This does present an interesting new kind of tale. Again, to me, not exactly new, a mashup of two different, uh, you know, one TV show episode, one movie, The Blair Witch Project and that X-Files episode, like I said. Uh, so not completely new. Uh, and to me, it just kind of fell a little flat. And once that tear, that tension uh, is kind of released at finding out what we are truly dealing with, it just does kind of go all to kind of a campy horror movie, uh, very much akin to like an 80s kind of movie. 
uh, than what could have been a terrifying, uh, you know, delve into, um, you know, and a kidnap, uh, capture kind of situation in a house that is uh, being rented out by various people over a long length of time where you have a constant flow of new victims coming in that you know you don't need to account for their whereabouts and set again in Detroit where there is low police presence in most of these neighborhoods uh, so no one is going to come help you if you do even get a chance to call for help. Uh, again, somewhat interesting. Only hardcore horror fans will appreciate this movie. Anybody else just kind of uh, quasi-curious, I still say shock a thumbs down to it. It's not worth a purchase in the theater. Just wait till you can rent it VOD in the comfort of your own home or say an Airbnb on some trip, <laughs> if you want to be uh, freaked out, uh, and, or streaming especially would be probably the best place to catch this movie. All right, so again, shock a thumbs down overall for Barbarian. Uh, not quite worth, uh, you know, what, how good it could have been, unfortunately, from the premise of the trailer. All right, mahalo and aloha.